Hi, I'm Jonathan Young, the Presidio Trust Wildlife Ecologist. I'm David Harrelson, Bioscience Tech with the Natural Resources Department, Presidio Trust. Entering season two of the Variable Checker Spot Butterfly Reintroduction Project here in the Presidio of San Francisco. This butterfly hasn't been seen since the mid-1970s when it went locally extinct here in the Presidio due to loss of habitat. The, the native plants that this butterfly depends on is for nectaring, the adults need the nectar of, of various flowers. But most importantly, the caterpillars require very specific types of native plants. We call them the host plant of this butterfly, which is California bee plant and sticky monkey flower. So through the history of the Presidio, a lot of those native plant communities were lost or significantly reduced, reducing the host plant of the caterpillar and ultimately um, local extinction of that butterfly. 20 plus years of restoration in the Presidio has now created the the habitat type, coastal scrub, the host plants needed by these butterflies. Um, however, this butterfly cannot fly very far. The caterpillars cannot crawl very far. The nearest local population of these butterflies is very far away. So it actually cannot come back on its own. It takes human effort to bring it back. Starting in 2017, with the appropriate permits, we went to San Bruno Mountain, found the host plant, primarily California bee plant, looked for these clusters of caterpillars, collected these caterpillars, about 200 at a time per day, drove them back to the Presidio, put them directly back on the same type of plant, California bee plant, that we collected them off of the mountain. Because when we move them, we put them in an ice chest, um, and that's just to slow down their metabolism, so they're easy to observe. Putting these caterpillars back, they, they start munching down on the, the host plant immediately, and then they begin their process of pupation, which is basically turning into a cocoon, and several days after that, they will fly as adults. So that's not the end of the project. We need to know through our monitoring on site, how well is this project working out? Do we need to continue bringing more caterpillars the following year, based on how many flying adults we find this year. From the introduction last year, 2017, uh, we the survivorship of a lot of the caterpillars this year um, has been fantastic. So a lot of this work we do here, and specifically with the variable checker spot reintroduction butterfly, helps us in the Presidio refine our reintroduction techniques, but it also helps us share our success and our learning with the broader conservation community in the Bay Area and beyond. Getting involved, um, well you can definitely uh, visit the sites. We have four locations uh, where we've moved the caterpillar larva. There's El Paline, there's Presidio Hills, got Weary Dunes and Weary, Weary Corridor. Um, but if you can get out and just observe, um, using iNaturalist is a phenomenal way to learn about the natural world. You can take pictures, you can upload them to um, the iNaturalist app. You can join our Presidio Park Stewards Volunteer Program. Come on out and get dirty. Plant native plants, the specific host plants that will support this butterfly. And remember, stay on trail. There's a lot of sensitive habitat and a lot of poison oak.